Welcome to my channel, The Life of Nina. Yep, I've got a mess over there. And Steve and I are doing some canning today. Well, we haven't, we've just gotten started preparing. Got to wash everything yet. I've got cucumbers, some of them done. Saving these for the chickens. I've got all of um, these here to go. I've got my jar scrubbed, sterilized, and in the oven. I always put it at 200. Make sure they stay sterilized and clean. So today I am making bread and butter pickles. And we are, let's take you over here to the other mess. <laughs> Green beans, and Steve's got these already. Snap. These are um, half half runners. These are the ones that these are my favorite, but they're they're harder to snap and stuff because there's so many strings on. These are just I don't know what the name of these are. They're just green beans. So, all right, I'm just going to be taking you along with me today, and not going to do a full video on how to do everything, but I'll be back. And Willow stands down below where I'm working <laughs> so she can get whatever I drop. But anyway, I got this for the chickens, and this is just about filled up. So, well, probably about up to here on that big pot. So, that'll be pretty good for my pickles. Um, I did want to tell you guys that I am just using this uh, Mrs. Wages, I guess you would pronounce it. I've never used this, but I um, thought I would give that a try. It seems a lot easier, and I'm all about easier this year. Um, also, every year around, well, around our stores, they end up putting these lids and stuff on sale. So I tried to get a couple boxes of each one, small mouth and large wide mouth, every year so that I have them. And if they have the bands and the lids together, I'll also buy some of those. But um, this year, I did end up getting these leak-proof storage lids for wide mouth. I thought that would be great. So when I opened up a jar of pickles, I could just put this lid back on them. So the reason I'm not going and telling you guys the whole detail about how to do all of this stuff is because most of you are that watch my channel are my age and have already canned and done all that stuff but so I this is a for those that don't know this is called a um, water bath canner and it's got a little thing to keep the, the jars off of the bottom of the thing and that's what you use when you're making pickles or um, jellies stuff like that so alrighty I'll be back Okay, so I had no idea that it took so much sugar to make bread and butter pickles. Seven cups with this packet. And then six and three-fourths cups of uh, vinegar, white distilled vinegar. So yeah, I'm going to let all that melt and then we'll be pouring it into our jars. Okay, so... I had that whole thing filled with, um, you know, the sugar and the vinegar and all that. And it wasn't enough to fill my jars. I should have known, but I've never used that. So I only put five of them in here, and I've got enough to do probably four more. So I went ahead and started these, since it's going to take two uh, of the water baths anyway. And um, so what I'm doing, you might be able to see, yeah, you can see down in there, see the pickles. Well, cucumbers right now, but they will be pickles. Um, so I'm waiting for this to get to a boil, and then I will put the lid on it, turn down the heat a little bit, and then let them boil for 15 minutes. Then when we get ready to do the um, green beans, those are going to go into my big pressure canner. Those have to be pressure canned. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that process too. And I wanted to say, um, when they come out of the canner, 
either the pressure canner or the water bath. You set them on a towel for at least 24 hours and within a few minutes of taking them out of the water, you'll hear the ping and that's letting you know that they're sealed. You can also tell by looking at the little, uh, there's a, well, I can show you over here. See the little right there? That will go down in once it's actually canned and sealed. So you put them on a, a towel sitting on your counter out of drafts. And the reason being is if they sit on a cold counter or touch a surface that might be colder and they could actually, the jars could possibly crack and bust. I've never had that happen, but I've always used a towel. So just a little FYI for you. My water bath canner will actually hold seven quarts. But like I said, I had to just put the five that I had enough of the bread and butter stuff to go in them. The brine, I guess I should say. Okay, I just wanted to say, I don't know about you guys, but when I am, when I have my kitchen filled with mess, I w would just rather go ahead and get everything that I can done while I'm doing any type of canning. So these, um, I just wanted to let you know, these are the, the half runners and then Steve's still breaking the other ones for me. But I wanted to say um, these jars have been out in the garage in boxes. So I brought them in with super hot water, Dawn dish detergent, scrubbed them. Well, I've, I've done all of the jars that way today. But anyway, scrub them really, really well and then rinse them with super hot water and then I boil water. I've got some getting ready to boil back there. And what I do is I boil the water, pour them in the jars, use the um, little gripper things, slosh it around really well. And then that's when I put them on the baking sheet in the oven at 200 degrees until I need them. That way it, it keeps them really really clean and the temperature keeps everything hot enough so i just wanted to fill you guys in on that steve um, actually right now is at the store because i ran out of the the brine so he's going i've got four more full jars and then this jar only needs enough to get up to the top so i'll be canning these five jars together so that will end up I'll have five, oh, I'll have ten total jars of pickles. So see, there's four there, and I'm trying to keep them covered up just, you know, I'm funny about stuff. So there's the five, and then the five over here. So that's going to be great. Uh, we're going to go on vacation in October. So I'll be taking some pickles and green beans and everything with us. To show you guys I got some really cool jars in that out of that garage sale deal Atlas I'm sure some of these are very old oh, another Atlas look how that one is strong shoulder mason jar this one's a Samco I don't have any of those so I don't know if that's old or not but I will be checking another older Atlas the reason that I um, I always check that stuff because I love collecting some of the older jars. These all have little tags in them telling me what year they were. And one of them is from my great grandmother. So I like having some older things. It doesn't show the color of my wall good. Isn't that weird? one reason why I bought these little pictures and stuff. I think um, jars are so pretty. All right, while I'm waiting on Steve to get back from the store, I thought I would go ahead and wash the green beans, get some of them in the jar. Now, the half runners 
that we would had, made six quarts and just have a little bit left, a couple handfuls, and I'll probably just mix those with the other green beans. It's not going to hurt anything. So what you do is you fill up your jars as full as you can get them and shake them around and they'll settle down and then put a, a teaspoon of salt. Now I just use the salt for pickling and preserving only because it doesn't have iodine or anything in it. Um, so you put a teaspoon in each jar. Then I'm going to put boiling water in each jar and fill them up to about here. They need about an inch of clearance. And these are going to be going into the um, pressure canner. So I'll show you all that in just a little bit. Alrighty, I am trying to let the canner get back down to zero. It's got a little ways to go. Lots of steam left in it. Hear that? So we'll just let that go back down to zero and then open it all up. This has my seven quart jars of the half runner green beans. This is how so far everything's looking. Ended up with 10 jars of the bread and, bread and butter pickles. And those were done, of course, in a water bath. And then I ended up with five jars of the grape jelly, also done in the water bath. Um, I had plenty of stuff to make more jelly, but I ran out of pectin, so I'm going to have to get some more of that. So I'm going to end up with, let's see, seven in here, and then six of the regular green beans. I've got everything ready in those, the salt, the boiling water and the lids and everything already on them so when these get done I'll be putting the other ones in it so what 13 quarts of green beans so that's pretty good for a day's work I think all right I want to tell you guys I appreciate you for um, sticking around all day with me and I know I haven't shown my face at all today but um, I am when I'm working I just don't care how I look. <laughs> I've got my short hair pulled back with clippies and I've got pajama bottoms and uh, yeah, not a pretty sight. So just wanted to still yet have you guys tag along with me today and see a little bit of the life of Nina. So thanks for joining me. Have a great night. Bye-bye.